Um, I had a very strange English professor this, this semester. Um, he liked to make us uh, walk across campus in a double file line and do dance moves. Um, and I was just like, yeah, that's some, that sounds like something I would have had to do at GRS. And then everyone else was like, this is completely insane. Uh, we can go to Oliver Kirsch next. Um, I feel like I have kind of been able to really utilize those little pockets of time that I have um, in between classes or after classes or in between different obligations to um, be productive because of the free time that GRS was able to give me. And I was, um, I feel like I really learned in high school to just kind of have a running list of ways I could use um, those times. And I feel like a lot of people here are struggling with that. Uh, so we have no other hands raised. So we'll move on to the next question. Um, have you had any new uh, unique experiences in research or travel experiences after GRS that you want to share? Uh, we can come back to that, but we can move on to the next question if you guys don't have anything. Uh, who did you meet outside of the classroom? What did you learn outside of the classroom? And what's your advice for getting involved uh, after and now in high school? Uh, Mason. Um, I would say that there's just like a lot of opportunities like <clears throat> outside of the classroom to get involved in like clubs and stuff. Usually there's like a club fair at like the beginning of every semester where you can like just go around to like so many different booths, like 300 to 400 different booths and just like look at like literally everything that the school has to offer for clubs. And a lot of the times there's also like opportunities to like get involved in like different classes and you can like partner with like community organizations whether that's through like professor like research too so I don't know there's just like a lot of opportunities and sometimes it can be overwhelming especially like <clears throat> coming from like Great River where there's not always like as many clubs or whatever like obviously we have a lot of opportunities because we have like a lot of community partners but like it just can be overwhelming but like just definitely like like when I went to my like first like club fair, I signed up for like 15 different things. Then like you kind of just like whittle down like what you think is interesting. Uh, Catalina can share next. Um, when, um, in addition to clubs, um, there's lots of, uh, for different departments, there's lots of different um, panels or info sessions that they have. I work at the um, computer science and math department at my school, and we have a weekly meeting for just students to come and talk to professors or other students and get involved in different organizations or internships or just reach out to other people. And also just like going to events, even if you're not sure if you want to be in, invested in this thing you can go and just check it out and see what different opportunities there are. Ruby, can you go next? Yeah, I guess this is going back to a question that you asked before, but like something that I learned from Great River that I didn't, I don't know, I haven't really thought about as learning from Great River until now, but um, 
I go to a pretty small school. This might be different at a bigger school, but getting to know your professors and getting a one-on-one relationship with your professors and like really them being invested in them and then them being invested in you back. I think I learned that from GRS and that's really, really helpful in a way to connect with people that aren't only students at your school. So um, for those of you who had a roommate experience, what was, a, what was having a roommate like and what advice would you give to future college first years? Ah, uh, Ruby. Okay, I had a roommate, two roommates last year, and I have two roommates this year. Um, and it's like three people in one room, so it's a lot. Um, but I would say just like come up with like a kind of like a contract, like what I don't know. We did that at Great River, like every felt like every day. Like, what are the like norms? What are like what do you expect from them? What do they expect from you? Um, and then just being really open with like what that actually looks like and don't be afraid to be like you're doing something that I don't like because you really have to do that because you're living with them but I loved my freshman year roommates and now I'm living with one of them now and it worked out great for me so I wouldn't be like too scared either uh Chloe can go next um, yeah, I would, similar to what Ruby said, I think it was really helpful for me and my roommate and like, we had a whole suite. So I guess our whole suite to set boundaries, like really early on and make a plan of what we were okay with, you know, just like certain guidelines in terms of like, even just cleaning, like, cause we had some common space that, that got really um, chaotic and stuff like that, I guess at times. So yeah, boundaries are really important. And then also, I think it was really helpful for me to go in, not like, I went in like not assuming that we would be best friends. I think it's like a very common assumption to go into like a roommate situation and be like, yep, we're going to be best friends. We're going to do everything together. And like you do do a lot of stuff together, especially in like the first week or so. But it was really good to not go in assuming this is going to be my best friend for like ever. And because like we are close, but I don't know. I think it's good to not have that assumption. Uh, we have a request that uh, we just go around and everyone like introduces themselves real quick. So, and just share like what college you go to and what year you're graduating. Uh, Kirsch? Uh, hi, I'm Oliver Kirsch. I graduated in 2022, so this past spring, and I'm going to Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. Uh, Briar. Um, I'm Briar, they, them pronouns. Uh, I'm attending UW Eau Claire. I graduated um, last spring. I think that was all the questions. Uh, Ruby. I graduated to spring of 21, 2021. Um, so two years ago, and I'm a sophomore at Colby, Colby College in Maine. Mason. Um, I also graduated 2021. I'm a sophomore at Brown University in Rhode Island. Lucian. I'm the only one that's out of college, but I'm Lucian. I use he, him, his, and I just graduated well, I, I graduated from GRS in 2018, and then I just graduated this year from McAllister College, and now I'm on to my first job. So if anyone has questions about McAllister, definitely hit me up. Chloe? Uh, yeah, I graduated spring of 22 from Great River, so I'm a freshman at Washington University in St. Louis. I also graduated spring of 22, and I'm a freshman at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. Lucy? 
I graduated spring of 2021 and I am a sophomore at Colorado College in Colorado Springs. Uh, I'm Catalina. Um, I'm Kalina Andrea Manjara. I graduated Great River in 2021 and I'm a current sophomore at McAllister College. If anyone has other questions from McAllister, you can also hit me up. So we had a question in the chat. Um, does anyone here, like, do you have any regrets about choosing the college that you did? And if so, like, what are those regrets? Uh, Curse, did you have your hand raised before? Or is that? I, I, I have something to say. Okay. Um, I have zero regrets. Um, I love Dartmouth in like every way, but I would say that I got a bit fortuitous and that I had a super like superficial understanding of the college before I went here. And I was kind of just, I chose it because I thought that it was in a pretty location and like it had a big name and it was a good size for me, but I would, I would like, if you're still in your college search, suggest getting down to like the nitty gritty details, like what's, what's the schedule like, what are, what dates are you going to be gone? How do people like the food? What's the dining system? Like there are a bunch of little details that you seem super unimportant until you're literally living in that space. Um, so like, don't just look at the amount of internships that you can get and the like post-graduation salary. Those things are important, but there are a million colleges with those same stats. So um, yeah, that's just what I've gotten for my first term. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so I wouldn't say I, I, I definitely don't regret like choosing my college at all. I had a really good experience, but just in terms of like pros and cons of making your choice, I was just thinking about the fact that like, so I chose to go to college locally, right? And I'd grown up in Minnesota all my life too. And that just in and of itself has been a little hard for me lately, actually, since graduating, because I moved out of Minnesota for the first time in my life now. And it's been, it's been new and, and I, you know, I'm, I'm working to acclimate, but it's, it's kind of hard. And sometimes I do wish like a little bit, but it's like, oh, I wish I'd gone to college out of state. So I could have ripped that bandaid off a little sooner, but like, it's totally your call, but that's just one good thing to keep in mind about where you choose to go, whether it's local or national or international, but yeah. Uh, Ruby. Yeah, kind of going off of that and what Oliver said, me and Oliver had a conversation kind of about this at an ultimate Frisbee tournament that we both happened to be at this fall. Um, and just like going out of state, uh, specifically going like pretty far to like New England. I feel like me and Mason have also talked about this. Um, there's a lot of like really weird, like cultural things that are very, very different, especially in that space. Like, um, and just like being aware of what like the campus culture is actually going to be like, which I don't have any regrets either. I love my school and I found like a pocket that is like perfect for me and I have great friends and all that. But just like knowing that it's going to be very, very different culturally, even if it doesn't seem like it might be like, um, yeah, and just going into that with a little bit of a better understanding, which I don't really think there's any way for you to actually know that before you go. Um, but just knowing that it'll be something completely different, you kind of just have to immerse yourself in it, even if it's like a very different culture from what you're used to. Uh, Chloe? Yeah, I also don't have any regrets, but I think it was definitely a transition. Like, I mean, I'm still in my first, well, just finished my first semester, but even like really early on, it was a transition to come from Great River where I was like, oh, I kind of wish that I had gone to the smaller school, but now I'm glad that I didn't seeing like some of my friends who have gone to smaller schools and stuff like that. And also just because of like longer term opportunities, I guess, I think that the school that I ended up with is like absolutely perfect for me, but I think it also depends what you want out of a school. And like, so like kind of target your search that way because different schools offer really different things and different types of communities and then also if you can I would say try to like get to know a student there or a couple students there pretty well like that can be a really hard 
thing to do. But if you can, I definitely recommend doing that so that you can really hear kind of what Kirsch was saying about like the nitty gritty where it's like the actual culture of the school and the students, because like I was not used to the culture of like the, I guess the type of students that I go to school with now are like very different from Graver. And that's still a transition. And so I think it's just, I don't know, it would have been good to get to know that a little bit earlier. Yeah, I agree. And like, just being able to like give it time, like it's at first, it's just like, it's going to feel so different and like kind of weird, but even like towards that, like just obviously like we just finished our first semester and like by the end I was like, okay, yeah, I love it here. But like, it definitely took time to like figure that out. So give it time. Uh, Lucy. Yeah, I also have zero regrets about where I go, but similar to what Ruby said, um, the culture and like the, I don't know, the values around the school, but also like the area are oftentimes different than what you're used to, especially at Great River. Um, so kind of like exploring a little bit of the town that you're going to be in as well as the school is important. Um, yeah, that's something I didn't do very much, but it's, you should. <laughs> And then we have a question from the chat. Uh, what made you choose your college over others from Eliza? Uh, Kalina? Um, I first decided to go to my college when I was four because I kind of grew up on the campus, but um, over time after I decided at that age that I wanted to go there, I learned more about the culture and I learned more about other schools in the area and outside of the area. And I learned that I really enjoyed the culture at McAllister as well as um, the subjects I was interested in were really well supported at the school. I'm a, I'm a computer science major. So I just, I knew that in addition to just feeling comfortable and safe and familiar with the campus, I also knew that it would support me in what I was interested in. And I knew a lot of people who taught there or went there. So just knowing about the college and the, the community was a big part of that. Uh, Lillian? So I'm also going to McAllister. And for me, it was... I've always kind of known what I'm interested in, like what I enjoy thinking about and studying, but I didn't ever really have any specific plans for what I wanted to do with that. And I, that's something I still don't really know. So So when I was when I was picking a college, I was like loosely looking for colleges that would that supported my interests but also I was mainly looking at like I decided early on that I wanted to go to a liberal arts college because because I figured a liberal arts college would mean I would get to explore a lot more topics and find and would give me more time to find where I fit. And that's exactly what my experience has been at McAllister. Um, McAllister in particular, it's hard to say what exactly made me pick it. I liked a lot of the culture just from like my what one visit there and it was also pretty accessible to me as a GRS student. Like I think small liberal arts colleges are actively looking to pick us up because that's kind of what GRS leads you towards. And I think maybe there's another college that would have suited me better, but in the end, McAllister is, I can't really see what would what I would change about McAllister and it's yeah I guess what made me pick McAllister above other liberal arts colleges was I liked for I liked their I liked their rigor in various programs so I could I could really explore what I wanted to and then I liked that it was close to home because 
if you know me, you know that I refuse to go far from my cat and he does not want to live in a dorm. So we're gonna move on to the next Q and A question from Felix is, what are some of the unique things that your college does that others might not? Uh, Lucy, do you still have your hand up first? Um, yeah, I do have a response to this question. Um, my school is a block plan school, so you only take one class at a time for three and a half weeks, um, and then you have a four and a half day break in between each class, um, and class typically goes from like nine to noon every day, and sometimes from one to three as well, um, so it's like very intense, very focused. I love it, um, and that's also one of the reasons that made me pick Colorado College. Uh, Kirsch? Um, I think there are two things that make Dartmouth pretty unique. Both are schedule related. <clears throat> um, we work in terms. So three month, about 10 week blocks um, of three classes. So you have three terms per school, per academic year. Um, fall, winter, and spring, and take three classes each. I think that's pretty cool. I've enjoyed it so far. I didn't think much of it before I went, um, but I've enjoyed it, and I feel like it really helps me focus on one class despite it moving a little bit faster paced. Um, it's easier to manage. It's how I work. And um, another thing that makes Dartmouth unique is that after sophomore year, um, we were required to stay on campus sophomore summer but stay with me because we get to choose another term later on junior or senior year um, where I think senior year too. Most people do a junior year where we can do anything we want. So we can take advantage of um, internship or job positions that other students might not have available because they're still in school um, or go travel somewhere super cool um not during the summer and I think that provides a lot of flexibility so that was definitely one of the main reasons that I uh chose the college I did we are going to I'm just going to add another question that you guys can think about because we're running kind of low on time but uh the next question is from Ben it's how much time outside of class do you spend on schoolwork you can still answer the last question as well though uh and we'll go to uh Mason um <clears throat> partly like I guess why I chose Brown is because they have something called the open curriculum where there's no like generals so like outside of your major you're really like open to explore like any like major or concentration that they have and so like if like I want to major in like film studies like I don't really have to take like any like math or science classes if I don't want to like obviously it's like not like suggested just because like I don't know like, it could be important but it just like there's a lot of room to explore like all of the concentrations at Brown and then for the schoolwork question I'd say probably like um actually I don't have like a very good idea probably like 30 hours a week I don't know though <laughs> uh, we'll go to Chloe Chloe, did you want to share? Oh, sorry. Um, I would say to go back to like what's, I don't even remember all the questions to be honest, but like the unique about our school kind of, I guess. I would say the thing, so I go to Washington University, WashU in St. Louis. Um, and I, it's a very STEM heavy school and I'm doing pre-med. And so I was really nervous that it would be like really competitive because I just really didn't want a competitive atmosphere at school coming out of Great River, especially. And so I think that the thing that I guess is, it's maybe not like super unique, but it's like sort of unique would be that it's so STEM heavy, but also really, really, really collaborative. And that's like, also, I think one of the best things about there, I don't know. I think that like somehow it just, it's works as a culture. And then in terms of time that I spend outside of class doing schoolwork, I mean, probably around the same as Mason, it's kind of just like all my time that <laughs> I'm not in class or like, it's a, it's a lot of time. It's a commitment. 
yeah a lot of time uh and then the last person we're going to have share is going to be lucian yeah so just addressing the time issue specifically i definitely back mason and chloe saying that it's like it's, it's a lot more time than high school that you're putting into like in great i don't know about you guys i don't know how it works now but like in great river i could pretty much just like get almost all of my work done during like community um independent work or whatever you know and then not go home and not really have little to any homework and college was it was a big adjustment to have like a full day of classes and then I have to go to home and do more work I just was not accustomed to that with Great River but I will say you know we're talking all this scary stuff but I, I really think that if you choose a, like a subject in college that you're really into just that the work like I don't know you just have a lot more freedom of choice in college about what you want to do and when you're doing work that you're like passionate about and really into it just kind of hits different you know I don't know it's, it's just not as like Burdom some as like as, as a subject that and and Great River is freer than most when it comes to like getting to choose subjects and stuff. But but yeah, in college when it really opens up like that, it's it's more work, but like it's rewarding if you're doing what you like. So yeah. um, I would like to thank all of our panelists for joining us today and all of our advisories for tuning in. Uh, I hope all of you have a great time in college and with the rest of your life. Thank you for joining us. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Is there